안녕하세요 물고기 친구들 Hello everyone, this is Serena, your Korean teacher and today we're gonna go through all the pronouns in Korean we don't really use much of the pronouns in Korean we usually just skip it or put a person's name instead however, because we are absolute beginners we need to know the basics so that we can formulate the sentence better and we know where to put things together right? so it's very important, I will say so don't skip this one all right let's go through it together don't forget to subscribe this channel and like this button as well all right lovely let's get started the first one pronouns let's talk about I first okay so I how do we say I in Korean tall tall right tall in korean we have a formal way of saying it and informal way of saying i right so tall is a polite version and informal one is not and it's only used in between friends close friends or obvious younger kids so please do not use nah this informal nah again you don't want to be rude right it's informal there's a reason why we call it informal all right whenever you're talking to a stranger or even like some people that you already know several times but you don't know the person very well you're not the best friends then please just use tall okay so tall 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 is korean i and again as i said na is the informal way of saying i all right next one is you how do we say you tang shin tang shin tang shin so tang shin so we've got tang shin as a formal and no 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 as informal so tangshin and no tangshin is actually a bit too formal so in korean if you listen to korean speaking like koreans talking each other we almost never say tangshin you probably have never heard of tangshin in general why because again it's just a bit too polite it seems like you're adding a wall in between me and the listener so you don't want that kind of feeling it's more like a similar to sir kind of way it's a bit too formal all right so that's the reason why we do not use tangshin as much instead of tangshin we use the person's name instead so which one well we definitely need to be a little polite of course right so we add mr mrs me's or whatsoever we don't really uh, compare these things by gender so this one will be just something something she as you can see in english or majority of other languages i believe we do have the prepositions right however in korean it's majority of them it's post position all right so it's always in the end right and we do put this name instead of last name we actually put the first name do you guys know why it's because if you ever say hey kim si on the street probably about 20 people can look back <laughs> okay that's why we, we want to reduce the chance to get confused by calling the last name because we have so many same last names right that's why we use she with the first name all right so serena she serena she like that okay very simple so instead of using tangshin we use she okay the person's name i mean all right tangshin also has another function i mean we do use tangshin between husband and wife when they call each other honey but respectfully okay so that's the reason why that many elder couples they call each other tangshin and then there is another reason why we barely use tangshin as well because tangshin can be a little bit argumental 
why is that? It's because, I mean, when you are arguing with some random person, you don't know the person's name, obviously, right? So that in that case, you have to call somebody, you did this one, blah, 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 right? So that's actually the reason why we say, 당신, blah, blah, blah. First, it's too polite. Second, it's also between husband and wife calling each other honey. It's also a little bit argumental. That's actually the reason why we avoid using 당신 and we use the person's name instead. Don't forget, first name, okay? 너 informal form, right? You use 너 to younger people, like obviously young kids right like way younger than you or just between friends so if you're not friends of course you shouldn't use no okay next one is we 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 in korean basically that to type again he and then 우리 저희 우리 저희 우리 So imagine like this way 저희 is like my own group of people 저희 right 저희 So 저희 is not really making that one formal You're not being polite for your own group you know It's actually humble down That's what it means 저희 is being humble Okay And then 우리 just general, you're talking about your own group, so it's not really informal. So, 우리 can be used for situation, whatever situation. It's not being rude, all right? So, 우리 is exception, okay? 저희, there is one thing I want to mention. So, <clears throat> well, in English, for example, we like to say like, my home, or my family, or my country. So, these are very simple, very usual. We just say that my home, my family, my country. However, in Korean, my, 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 we don't really use my as much as the Western culture, for example. I think it's because of Western is more focused on each individual. So yeah, my, my, that's okay. That's normal to say. However, in Korea, we think as like a big family together. That's also the main reason why we call each other just we, like we, or maybe like the home that my family lives. So it's like us, right? So we like to say, 우리 or 저희 instead of using my. So it doesn't mean that it's our mutual family or mutual home. So my home, how do we say? 저희 집. Or we can also use 우리 집. 우리 집. Either 저희 집 or 우리 집. 저희 집, you're being polite, you're being humble. 우리 집, just neutral. Okay. What about family? How do we say family in Korean, guys? Family is 가족. 가족. So, 저희 가족. 저희 가족. Or, 우리 가족. Being humble, being neutral. Both, you might be confused why 저희 is like our, like our mutual family. No, it's not. It's about my family, but we just, that's just the way we usually like to say we instead of my, okay? My country is exception because we don't want to humble down or anything. We want to be just equal. Every country should be equal, right? So that's why 저희 나라, 나라 is country. So 저희 나라 doesn't exist. All right, we shouldn't say 저희 나라 for any of countries. That's why only 우리 나라 works. 우리 나라. And then there is no space in between, all right? 우리 나라, 우리, our or my 나라, country. Okay, very good. Next one is he. He. He is... 그, 그, he, 그. What about she? She is 그녀, 그녀, 그녀. What about they? They, 그들. Aha, uh -huh. we can see some 
same kind, right? Ku, ku, ku. Um, so imagine ku as a one person, a male, and ku nya, like a female, like that, right? Like as it is, he, she, as it's just, you know, he is here. You're just adding s in front. It's like that, right? Ku nya. It means woman, right? Ku nya. And then ku tu. So tu is actually is a plural form. Plural. So more than one man. So that's why it's ku du. Ku du. So, um, but problem is, well, I've never heard of these terms before. Yeah, it must be true because we don't really use them. These are not spoken terms at all. These, you can actually find these ones on books like novels, maybe translated books, right? In Korean, we do not have these terms at all. We do not use 그, 그녀, or 그들. Maybe you can hear them maybe on the lyrics, I'll say, but because it's written, yeah? but general terms we do not use these ones okay so guys please note that all right these are written terms all right so we do have other way of saying this of course however we're gonna get back to that later all right so because we are a beginner we need to know like what to use what you'll get confused if we don't use it at all or the person's name we can't really think of a person's name all the time when we are speaking when we are practicing korean right that's why we we're gonna use it anyways ku kunyo kudu ku we are gonna use this. However, in actual daily conversation, we do not use it at all. Okay, keep that in mind. So, how do we say this? This in Korean is E. I know some of you guys learned it only E. However, it's E got. E got. Okay, E got. We do need to add this bottom consonant, S in the bottom. Yes, and then I pronounce it, no S. I didn't pronounce S. No, it's actually a sound. It's kind of similar to T, yes, but it's not really T sound. You know what I mean? It's like right before you pronounce T. So you say, got, but you cut it there before, right? got. E got no e got cut it e got all right e got is actual the original of this okay next one is that that how do we say that that is the one that was a bit far away like the one that you can't really reach right that's got 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 same thing caught caught right Togot. And then let's talk about it. It is Kugod. 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 So think about it. Kugod. The one that we are talking about. It is. It is. Right? We can actually see Kod, 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 Kod. All of them. So what does it mean, Kod? Kod means a thing, actually. So technically, Egot means this thing. Togot means that thing. Kugot means it thing. The one that we are talking about, right? The one. So that the thing. Kugot, the thing. The thing. Okay. So kot means a thing as an object like thing or stuff. Like. So we can actually replace them. All right. So let's talk about this apple how do we say this apple this plus apple think about it e got plus apple sagwa sagwa so this is this e got and sagwa apple right sagwa but e got plus sagwa so as i said this thing apple does make sense, does it? We have to replace it, as I said. 
called has a meaning of a thing. We are replacing this one, disappears, and replaced by 사과. So that's why it become 이 사과. And guys, don't forget that there is a space in between, okay? 이 사과. Okay, let's try another one. How do we say that pen? That pen, that pen, the one that is a little bit far distance, that pen, that's 저, so it's 저것 plus pen, pen in Korean is pen, so 것 plus pen, so this 것 disappear and then replaced by pen, so Tall pen. How simple, right? It's not as simple as English, obviously. However, cut. Imagine that's a thing. That's an object. You have to replace it in order to use it. All right. The person. So the person we are talking about. All right. The person. There are certain cases that we have to use the person, the person we are talking about, right? So in this case, the, what was it? 그것, we use 그것, 그것 plus person, 사람. So guys, again, the thing, person doesn't make sense, right? That's why we have to remove this cut, remove this one away, and then add it together. That's why it become 그 사람. All right. 그 사람. The one that we are talking about right now. Okay. So this is the way we put this, that, and it. 이것, 저것, and 그것. 이것, 저것, 그것. All right, so you can actually apply many different things. You just need to remember the vocabularies, like all the nouns that you want to use, right? All right, thanks a lot, guys. If you want to continue learning Korean properly with me, Serena, don't forget to subscribe my channel and let's learn the other one very soon. Hope this video was helpful and hope to see you next time. All right, have a lovely day, guys, and see you next time. 안녕히 계세요. 바이바이.